And the city itself is actually two cities. Bangkok, the modern, combines the virtues and vices of any of the chief cities of the world and is called the new crossroads of the Orient. It is riding the crest of an unprecedented economic boom. A visiting World Bank mission surveyed Thailand's economy recently and was flabbergasted to learn that it's expanding at a rate of 10% a year, almost twice that of even the most prosperous Western countries. Plush air-conditioned hotels abound, and new shoebox-style office buildings dominate the skyline in a helter-skelter transformation of what was once a sedate oriental port. Traffic congestion has now reached staggering proportions. The pedicabs of old are gone, and in their places there's a contest for highway supremacy by Japanese taxis, U.S. Army vehicles, smoke-belching buses, and noisy motor tricycles. The unceasing flood of tourists, plus the influx of American military and civilian personnel, account for much of the confusion, but much, too, is the inevitable consequence of progress. In the old days, a languid man settled over the city once dark. Now, Bangkok swings at night. Thousands of colored neon signs proclaim the city's bars, bathhouses, massage parlors, and dozens of luxurious nightclubs, each with its pretty Thai hostesses. These spots are the favorite. <laughs> That. Although Western influence has drastically changed the city in the past few years, there still exists Bangkok the Old, an ancient city of glittering temples and palaces of fairy tale magnificence. If Bangkok the New symbolizes the nation's economic boom and its full scale emergence into the 20th century, it is through Bangkok the Old that one appreciates the history that has converted this nation into America's most dependable ally in Southeast Asia. Thailand is unique among the countries of this area in that it has never been a European colony. Consequently, it has no anti-colonial complex handicapping its attitude toward the West because it's always been fiercely independent. If Thailand's traditional independence is one leg of its tripod of stability, a second leg is certainly the popularity of the king a direct descendant of the Chakri dynasty, which has reigned since 1782. The present king, Pumipon, who reigns with his beautiful queen, Sirikit, is clearly a strong and unifying national symbol. While the king has influence, the power of government lies with a coalition of military and civilian leaders led by Prime Minister Tanom Kitikachorn, an army field marshal who took office more than three years ago. The 400 temples scattered around Bangkok act as a magnet for the city's ever-increasing tourist traffic, and they symbolize the third bastion of Thailand's stability, the national religion, Buddhism. Fully 95% of the population are Buddhists. Unlike the Buddhism of Vietnam with its overtones of strident political involvement, the Buddhism of Thailand is reflective and interdirected. The result, a national mood of continuity, even serenity, seen in the soaring spires and the intricate architecture of the elaborate temples. Bangkok was once called the Venice of the East because of the maze of klongs or canals which intersected the city and extended into the countryside. A big number now have been filled to make roads, but many of those remaining are jammed with boats of every size and description. A must on every tourist agenda is a visit to watch the early morning market boats on their way to Bangkok. Unlike much of Asia, Thailand is not overcrowded and could probably support two or three times the present population of 32 million. Combine this with a favorable climate and the fact that nearly 85% of the farmers own their own land and it is not surprising that Thailand is rich by Asian standards and richer still in potential. 
a varied array of silks, foods, and spices can be purchased at the picturesque floating markets. But it is not Bangkok's beauty or the nation's unity and prosperity that have made it the keystone for America's defense position in Southeast Asia. At this, the headquarters for the entire U.S. military presence in Thailand, American military leaders point out that Thailand and the United States see eye to eye in the need to stop communist expansion in Asia. And Thailand's geography and determination give it a crucial role. Most of the some 40,000 U.S. servicemen in Thailand are stationed at seven air bases stretching from just outside Bangkok to an advanced outpost only 18 minutes flying time from North Vietnam. Under a unique